hello everyone welcome to my channel once again so this this video is actually on how to find the limit of any function using the graphical approach here i'm going to use x squared just x squared so you can type x squared there and then i want to actually approach one so let me make it bigger and show you something all right cool i want to find the limiting value at two so that means that the limiting value at two is four so that means that if i use the right it should give me four if i use the left it should also give me what four so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to create a slider for the right and for the left so this is for the right so i'll name it r i'm approaching two so my minimum should be 2.001 plus this is the right and the minus one um, I think for physical bar, let's use 4 and my increment should be somewhere let's say 0 0.1 to make it look nice and the animation is it is decreasing because I'm moving from the highest to the lowest and the next thing is to create for the left so that one name it L and the lowest value can be negative 1 which is cool and we are approaching to so 1.99 and my increment is 0 0.1 frame so we realize that i don't have 1.99 can you see that it changes to two so all you need to do is just go to options go to rounding and select them all right so now you see 2.001 is showed here and this one to 1.99 is also shown i am sorry for that let's come to right click slider option and let's choose um increasing because that one is actually a slider that increases from the lowest to the highest so the next thing is to create for the right and create for the left so just follow me so this is r equals r comma f of r so i done so this is the point so if i move it it shows that so this is the point this is the x value and this is the y value so if I move it, it shows that I'm actually approaching to. So when I approach to, what's the value? 4.01. So now the limiting value is 4.01. But we want to actually use lines to show that as you are approaching this, the line is also moving down towards 4. So all you need to do is do an x coordinate, r comma 0. This is an x coordinate. And this one too, and do a y coordinate, r 0 comma f of r. So you can see they will move with this so the next thing is just come to line and choose segment now click on this and join it to this click on this one too and also join it to this now move it up down up down so you can see as you're moving from four close to two what do you get our value is at four you can see it's four point 0401 which is here which is the same as this one which is the same as this one so that's actually our limiting value and we can do the same thing for the left too and um, so that means we are going to create a left point l equals l comma f of l and we create an x point l comma zero i will create a y point or yeah so the next thing is to what move them up good what is this point doing okay okay oh sorry zero comma f of l all right so as i move the left one it goes up down up down so now I come to segments choose this join it to this choose this one too and join it to that so we can see clearly that if you are moving from negative one it changes it changes it changes it changes it changes and it goes down to so you can see is what 3.996001 which is close to four we can see that that one is also what four but if you want to leave traces and make it nice you can actually right click on the functions trace on trace on and then animate that particular slider 
So you can see as you're moving the house, the value is changing, the value is changing, the value is changing, which shows up here and it goes close to four. So which shows that we are actually applying the rules of the um limit. So we can animate for the y as is two and you can also leave your traces on if you want so right click on it so right click done so basically that is it and you can explore more on your own all right see you 